the conservatives have just taken a very coveted liberal seat. I'm curious, uh, does this put the whole of the GTA uh, in the hands for the Tories? Uh, effectively, it, it puts the entire country in play for the Conservatives. I mean, if there's any place the Liberals would expect to have a guaranteed win, it would be in downtown Toronto. That is the key to their electoral success uh, in every election since 2015. I mean, to win the next election, the Liberals have to win seats sort of in the greater GTA, out stretching out into the 905 in Brampton, in Bramalee, in Etobicoke. The idea that they could lose a seat right in the heart of downtown completely shocked everyone, and I think it even shocked the Conservatives. In fact, the Conservative candidate who won last night, Don Stewart, he addressed his campaign supporters last night at around 11.30. At that point, he was trailing by somewhere between 500 and 700 votes, was bouncing around as more poll results came in. And it wasn't quite a concession speech, but it was close to it. Uh, but he did say, let's, you know, the, the, the night is still young, even though it wasn't really that young. Uh, and it, looking ahead to more uh, ballots and more, and more poll results coming in. So uh, real shock here this morning. And of course, the question everybody is asking is, what does this mean for Justin Trudeau's leadership? Uh, a lot of folks saw this as kind of a referendum, this vote on uh, as a referendum on Trudeau's leadership. And until now, we hadn't had Liberal MPs speaking out publicly calling for a change of leadership or review of leadership, I think that might start to change now. I think you might hear some voices of people who are actually in Parliament, Liberals, saying, OK, this, is a, this, this result was a real shock to us. This is voters sending us a message that it's time for a change, either in policy or in leadership. And we're going to have to do this because an election is coming not that far off yet. I mean, at the latest uh, fall of 2025, so Liberals have to start getting ready for that. If they're going to make a change in leadership, they have to do it quickly.